Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, Wikipedia Article Audio The Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency is an executive agency of the Department of Health in the United Kingdom which is responsible for ensuring that medicines and medical devices work and are acceptably safe. Structure History Roles Funding Criticism The MHRA was formed in 2003 with the merger of the Medicines Control Agency and the Medical Devices Agency. In April 2013, it merged with the National Institute for Biological Standards and Control and was rebranded with the MHRA identity being used solely for the regulatory center within the group. The agency employs over 1,200 people. The MHRA is divided into three main centers. In 1999, the Medicines Control Agency took over control of the General Practice Research Database from Office for National Statistics. Medicines Control Agency and the Medical Devices Agency merged in 2003 to form the MHRA. In April 2012, the GPRD was expanded and relaunched as the Clinical Practice Research Data Link. In April 2013, the MHRA merged with the National Institute for Biological Standards and Control and was rebranded with the MHRA identity being used for the parent organization and one of the centers within the group. At the same time the CPRD was formally declared a separate center of the MHRA, too. MHRA hosts and supports a number of expert advisory bodies, including the Commission on Human Medicine which replaced the Committee on the Safety of Medicines in 2005, and the British Pharmacopoeia Commission. As part of the European system of approval, MHRA or other national bodies can be the rapporteur or CO rapporteur for any given pharmaceutical application, taking on the bulk of the verification work on behalf of all members, while the documents are still sent to other members as and where requested. The MHRA is funded by the Department of Health for the regulation of medical devices, whilst the costs of medicines regulation is met through fees from the pharmaceutical industry. This has led to suggestions by some MPs that the MHRA is too reliant on industry, and so not fully independent. The MHRA has been criticized by the House of Commons Health Committee for among other things, lacking transparency and for inadequately checking drug licensing data. The MHRA have been criticized in the book Bad Pharma, and by David Healy in evidence to the House of Commons Health Committee, for having undergone regulatory capture, advancing the interests of the drug companies rather than the interests of the public. Donald Light at the Netherlands Institute for Advanced Study summarized as such. The industry has shaped the rules of the regulators, funded their operations, and lobbied them constantly in a classic pattern of regulatory capture. MHRA Regulatory, Clinical Practice Research Data Link, National Institute for Biological Standards and Control.